In this video, we're going to take a quick look at High Availability in Exchange Server 2010 and how it can be used to prevent uh, end users from seeing any kind of impact from server outages. So in this scenario, we've got a simple High Availability setup. High availability setup. Um, firstly, there's two mailbox users connected at the moment. A pair of client access servers configured as a CAS array and then a pair of mailbox servers configured as a database availability group. This is Alan Reed, one of our mailbox users. He's just going to send an email to our other test user, which is Peter Brown. That message has arrived in Peter's inbox. So as you can see, the two of them are able to email each other at the moment. So first, I'll demonstrate what happens when a member of the CAS array uh, goes down and becomes unavailable. So in this example, we've got a, a CAS array configured with two client access servers. And we're going to take server EX4 offline just by stopping it in the NLB cluster that goes offline straight away. So back to Peter's mailbox and we'll reply to Alan's message. You can see that came in straight away. Um, no problems whatsoever experienced with that server being down. So let's switch that around the other way, we'll bring EX4 back up online. And we'll take EX3 offline this time. Back to Alan's mailbox. We can reply to that message that uh, Peter sent. We can see now in Peter's mailbox that second reply has arrived. So next I'll demonstrate what happens when the database availability group fails over or switches over one of the databases to a different mailbox server. You can see here that mailbox database 1 has replicas on both of the servers and it's currently mounted on server EX1. So what we'll do is we'll activate the database copy on server EX2. That database is now mounted on server EX2 so I go back to our mailboxes send another reply over to Alan and Alan continues to receive those replies from Peter even though the database switchover occurred. So that's a quick demonstration of the high availability in Exchange Server 2010 in action. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.